Do you have people around you that you would call soul suckers, energy vampires? Do you have people around you that no matter what's going on in your life, their issues and their problems always seem to take priority? Do you want to learn how important it is to actually set the boundaries in your own life and how to set them to protect your inner engineering? I'm going to share that with you and so much more on today's episode of Going Deeper. So welcome. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that tackles the topics that many around the world struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. From mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also shares his teaching on more focused topics, such as anxiety, self-image, gaining employment, the importance of educating oneself, developing a deeper spiritual connection, mental and physical well-being, and so much more. Want to be the best you can be? You're in the right place. And now please welcome Mind, Body and Soul's very own John Morris. Okay folks, and welcome to another exciting episode of Going Deeper. I am your host John Morris, and welcome to the show that's designed to help you get from where you are to where you want to be, step by step, simply all being well, and hopefully in a way that's just gonna make you feel amazing and gonna give you a plan. And as always, reminding you, I never teach on anything that I have not got first-hand experience in. With that in mind, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, tell a friend, because it could be the very thing that they need to hear in their time of struggle. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way, we want to talk about these energy vampires and these soul suckers. As always, it's important to give a definition of these people because when you, when you give a definition on them, it means that you know what to look out for. A definition by my ideal is this. A soul sucker and an energy vampire is someone who, whenever you meet them, their, their problems take priority. No matter what you do, no matter how much help that they are given, they never seem to be away from trouble. There always seems to be drama with these people and no matter what, no matter the age that they get to, they just never seem to progress. These people do exist. They make one bad decision after another and literally it affects everybody that they come into contact with. So that is a definition of these energy vampires and these soul suckers. Um, you know, I've, I've got several friends of mine that are going through this situation right now and every conversation that we have is always about the same topic, it's about the same person, it's about the same thing, what he's done, what she's done, how they've behaved, the mess that they've got into now. And you sit there and you say, you've got to set your boundaries. You know, you've really got to set your boundaries. So, I want to give you three simple tips hopefully that's going to help you. The first one is this, be aware of the situation, be aware of what's happening. A lot of people, you know, aren't aware of the situation, and especially if it's their children, because they feel a sense of obligation and duty bound to their children. Oh, well, they made a mess of their, you know, teenage years, oh, they made a mess of their 20s, oh, they made a mess of their 30s. They're so much in debt, they're doing this, they're doing that, they're doing the other, and all they want to do is to help the situation. But guess what? By bailing your children out all the time, you're not actually helping them. You need to actually step back and let them figure the damn thing out for themselves. They're gonna do one or two things. They're gonna sink or they're gonna swim. If they're gonna sink, it's by their choice. If they're gonna swim, it's by their choice. Remember, if you teach a man to fish, you will literally have fed an entire village for its lifetime. If you give a man a fish, I, you help people out of their problems, you fed them for a D. Because the problem is, until a person's mindset changes, they're never going to change. That is why, statistically, the amount of people that believe that they can gain life-lasting and life-changing wealth by winning the lottery, they gain it, and then within maybe five or six years, they've lost it because there wasn't a mindset change. In their mind, it was like, oh, we've got all this money, we can go spend, 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 spend. They go and spend a million dollars, million pound, million yen, and they end up no better off, oftentimes worse case than the way that we were before. Where did the issue begin? It began actually with the mindset. You've heard me speak about mindset a lot. It's one of the things that I major on as a psychologist in training. Because at the end of the day, if people aren't aware that when they make a decision, it has a consequence, it has a knock-on effect. They are never, ever, ever going to change. So if a person is in, a person is hell-bent on being a life wrecker, 
that means that they're going to make one bad decision after another and they know that people are going to be there to bail them out they're going to keep making one bad decision after another this is what happens over and over again and this doesn't stop folks this doesn't get to a you know this doesn't stop when a person gets to a certain age and then they say oh well you know maybe i need to stop now no this unless it's challenged and changed this goes on and on and on for decades for years for her for, for her entire life because unless a conscious effort is made to change, it will never, ever, ever change. So, now I've given you a lengthy description of these things and expressed frustration. What can you do about these things? For you personally, if you are someone who is committed to a style of life that is chaotic and dramatic and making one bad decision after another, what I would suggest is take a good, hard look at yourself and then say, right, is this the person that I want to be? Is the little bit of pleasure that I'm getting willing, or, or am I, is the little bit of pleasure that I'm getting worth the amount of suffering that I'm causing to myself and to others, to my children, to my family, to my parents, whatever it might be, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. And then hopefully you'll wake up and you'll say, you know, maybe I do need to change. Maybe you need to stop this stupid behavior and maybe, and don't guilt trip yourself about it, don't start feeling bad about it. Realize that it's a part of maturing. Realize that it's, I mean, guilt and blame and all that kind of stuff, it is pointless, it's worthless. It doesn't do anything for you, but if you see it as, you know, I'm now maturing, I'm now growing, I'm now developing, that's when all of this stuff can be really useful and really beneficial. So, if you're that person, my, my hope for you in listening to me today, if you're still listening at this point, is that you will find a way in your own way to wake up and to change. If you are on the receiving end and you've got the person in your life that is just take, 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 their priorities or their problems are always a priority, um, no matter what happens, then you need to set some boundaries. You maybe need to distance yourself from this person and say, look, we're here for you on this day. You go one day a week, okay? And you've got a couple of hours in that day, even if it's your children. And you may say, well, John, that's really difficult. If you're serious about protecting yourself and your relationships, then you need to do this. It's not difficult. You just need to make the decision to do it. It's only difficult if you decide it to be. And you might say, well, no, John, it's difficult because it's my daughter and I love them. It's like, well, if you really love them, you'll actually back off and let them stand on their own two feet. Because if you don't, they're never going to grow. They're never going to learn. Some people call this tough love. I just call it, you know, wisdom experience, growing up, whatever it might be. You cannot have a person that is constantly leaning on you. Because what's going to happen when you pass away is they're going to find someone else to lean on. And all of this is just going to continue because they were never taught. It's actually responsibility as a parent to teach them this. They were never taught how to stand on their own two feet. If you make a mess, how to fix it. They were never taught how to think. And that can be a really, really damaging place for anyone to be. So like I say, it is important for you to set your boundaries and for you to say, you can come over on this day, we'll be here for you. You know, if, if you're giving money, which I don't recommend, if it's a one-time thing, make sure it's a one-time thing. Make sure that you stick to your guns. Really important, the amount of time, the amount of people that I've coached that have said, well, you know, we gave my daughter money, we gave my son money. And I said, well, how many times have you done that? And in some cases it's been into double figures. And I'm like, okay, how much has it cost you? And in some cases, you know, it's been 10, 15, 20,000 pounds and dollars um, in each individual case. And you're like, okay, how's that left you? And in one person's case, they actually had to sell their apartment and their house because they couldn't afford to live there anymore because their son had actually bled them dry. And I'm like, has the issue actually changed? And they said, no, my son is still in the same mess that it was before. And I said, right, well, what about if we set up a coaching session with the son, and we did. And I gave him some harsh realities, you know, that his parents weren't gonna give them, and I sat down the entire family. And I said, that, you know, your parents are not gonna give you any more money. 
Okay, and so parents, are you in agreement right now in front of me? Are you making that commitment? And they said, yes. And I said to the, to the son, I said, look, you now need to make the decision. You need to make the decision for your own life. How are you gonna pull yourself out of this? And I said, my recommendation is this, that you make a commitment to yourself to pay back your parents every single dime that you took from them. Because if they give you money and you didn't grow and you didn't develop and the problem wasn't sorted, I said, then you have robbed them. And I said, you can sit there and you can feel miserable about it. That is the reality. I said, but now I'm gonna coach you on what you need to do. Because this guy was really smart. He had a lot of brains. Um, a lot of brains, unfortunately, that he wasn't using. And now he's in a phenomenal job, um, actually with one of the, the leading companies in the United States, which I'm so thankful for. And he did actually pay back his, his mum and father for you know everything that he took. So you gotta set your boundaries. You gotta know what you're willing to allow and what you're not willing to allow. That will differ for every single parent. Um, you, so you be aware set your boundaries and stick to them. It's really important if it's your son or daughter and if it's your friends, for example, and they are being low energy or they're just taking from you all the time, then you've got to set your boundaries and say, look, you can come and see us maybe once a month, twice a month, whatever it might be, maybe once a week, depending on the person. And then you need to be able to say, we'll see you on this time, on this day and no more. Okay, you've actually got to be strict and discipline yourself. Remember, all of this is inside of you, but you need to be disciplined in yourself to be able to say no more. Well, I hope that's really helped you today to set boundaries with these vampire suckers. Remember, if you allow them to, they will just take, take, take all the time and you will end up being bled dry, you will end up being miserable, and you will end up resenting and hating even um, the people that you're with and ultimately ending up in bitterness which, which can actually end up with you losing everything that you've worked really hard for all of your life So take charge of your own life take charge of your own destiny It's really important encourage them to do the same if we can help of course get in touch with us if you're interested in life coaching for your son daughter friend, whatever it might be, that is this energy vampire, get in touch with us. I'd be more than happy to have a lovely conversation with them and hopefully help them get a plan and a strategy to actually get them from where they are to where they want to be and help them to make wise decisions. And I believe actually that's the topic of our next um, show which is all about how to make wise choices. And if you've enjoyed this video, folks, as always, let us know. If you've got any questions, let us know. Get in touch with us at thebattlesweallface.com. If you're interested in coaching, you can get in touch with us at patreon.com forward slash mind, body, and soul. Uh, we've got group coaching. We've still got a couple of spaces available for one-on-one -on -one coaching as well for teens, for adults, for relationships, whatever it might be. Get in touch, and we'll be here to help. And until next time, take care, God bless, and I'll see you soon. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety. Maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues. Maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach to the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Like a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, 
as the trifecta, I am committed to you to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be at, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step -step plan of action that we can put together. But now folks, I want to tell you about the early bird special offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to do really develop that passion, to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up thinking, ah, you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today. I would love to hear from you. As I say, this is open only for 10 people and once it's done, it's done. So click that box below, get in touch, let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other and I look forward to working with you. Have an amazing day folks, take care, God bless and I will see you soon.